By the time you read this, I hope to be dead. You can't undo something that's happened. You can't take back a word that's already been said out loud. You'll think about me and wish that you had been able to talk me out of this. You'll try to figure out what would have been the one right thing to say, to do. I guess I should tell you, don't blame yourself, this isn't your fault. But that would be a lie. We both know that I didn't get here by myself. You'll cry at my funeral. You'll say it didn't have to be this way. You act like everyone expects you to. But will you miss me? More importantly, will I miss you? Does either one of us really want to hear the answer to that question? Tell me you haven't been up all night. I haven't been up all night. Honestly? You asked me to tell you something, then ask for the truth. Well, you shouldn't be drinking coffee. You shouldn't be smoking cigarettes. Josie, have you had breakfast? Coffee. Coffee doesn't count. It counts when you're in a rush. Promise me you'll eat. Promise. My name is Josie Cormier, and I guess, well, I know who I'm supposed to be and how I'm supposed to act, but yet, there's still a part of me that wonders, what if I let all my so-called friends in on, on the real me? Would Courtney or even Matt accept it? Do they even realize that I'm basically a fake? But I couldn't talk to them, of course. Doubting my right to be in the popular set just proved that I didn't belong there. All rise, the Honorable Alexandra Cormier presiding. Hello, Matt? You're outside? Okay, yeah, I'm coming. Okay. <laughs> Are you still mad at me? It's not me, that's Matt. But you know I love you, right? I wouldn't ever do anything to harm you. I know. Go. Signal 1000, it's only been used twice. That means life or death. You can't go in there, it's against protocol. There is no fucking protocol. Where's the shooter? Okay. Where's the shooter? Is everyone okay? Put up your hands and don't move. Hey, do you know someone named Peter? He's my Peter? son. Peter? He's your son? He caused all of this! <gasps> You may stay in the room if you want. Actually, I can't. I'm the judge of this case. Josie, I'll be upstairs if you need me. Josie? My name is Detective Deschamps. How are you? Stop pretending that you care. I don't even know why you're here. I've told you guys I don't remember anything. I'm not pretending. Do you really not remember anything? I tried, but I can't. You're in the gym, right? You were dating Matt Winston, right? Yeah. Do you think Peter had a grudge against Matt? No. Were you friends with Peter? All right, thank you for your time. Yeah, no, like that question about the algebra where we had to do it. Yeah, that was crazy. I know, that was an A grammar. I'm bored, can we go please? Uh, well, you can go. I'm gonna stay and talk to Pooja. I'll see you later. So, I said I'm going. And I said I'm staying. Can I talk to you over there, please? Why'd you just do that to me? You just embarrass me. I just want to stay and talk to her. Well, I don't care if you want to stay and talk to her. You do whatever I tell you to do. Because I love you.
The whole case is confusing. Ten people were murdered, nine students and one teacher, and no particular order either. His choice of weapons, he let off a homemade pipe bomb before he entered the school with two sawed-off shotguns that were never used, as well as two Glock 17s. One of the Glocks was used for basically the whole shooting. The other was only shot once, and it looked like it got jammed. Not to mention Matt Royston. He was the only victim that was shot twice, once in the stomach and once in the head. Maybe he hated him more. Maybe. I thought Matt was the golden boy. They searched his home too. They found a yearbook. The faces of some victims were crossed off. Only one person's picture was faded. And who was that? It was Josie Cormier. Josie, where do you think you're going? To Peter's arraignment at court. No, you're not. Why not? Because I said so. That's not an answer. Josie, I will let you go if I can come with you, but I can't. I'm, well, I'm the judge of this case. Wait, wait, how about we make pancakes? You used to love that when you were younger. Mom, are you on crack? Okay, that was when I was five. How about we play Scrabble? I bet you can't beat me. You win. You, Matt, Matt, Matt! What, what do you want? No, it's either you become one of them or one of us. I'm sorry I didn't pick you up from sleepaway camp. I know you were only 10, but I'm sorry. I know you've been lying to me. He told me. You haven't called him once. He's our son. What kind of parents raises their kid to be a monster? I mean, I taught him how to hunt, but... I didn't know he was going to go and kill people. What? Well, he's soft. He is not a monster. We raised him just like we raised Joey. We did everything normal. I can't go see Peter. I just can't. Every time I see him, I think of Joey. I think of the guy who crashed into his car. Drunk. I mean, imagine what all of these parents are thinking about our Peter. And it, it's all true. And if it's true, then we caused it, not Peter. I don't understand why they keep on asking me to come back here. I already told them I don't remember anything. Don't worry. You just have to start looking at things rationally and... Why don't you stop treating me like I'm a freaking witness? I'm not a lawyer. I'm not anything close to your stupid courtroom. So stop treating me like I'm anything other than a teenager. Don't worry, Judge. That's how teenagers are. They have a tough time listening to their parents. Yeah, but... I'm not really acting like a parent, am I? That's the problem here. I'm a great judge, but a terrible mother. How do I help her? How do I make everything go back to normal? How are you supposed to help her if you can't let me talk to her about the case? Well, this is the biggest case in my whole career. That's also your only daughter. She's slipping away and there's no one to catch her. Good afternoon, Peter. I'm Jordan McAfee, your lawyer, and together we are going to work very hard to get you out of here. And for that to happen, you have to listen to me. Everything I say to you from now on is confidential and vice versa. As your lawyer, I do the talking for you. From now on, I am your best friend, your mother, your father, and your priest. Got it? I don't understand why I have to stay here. Really? They are the ones that did this to me, yet I'm the one being punished. Boy, yo, hey. what are you doing, man? Yo, 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 something <laughs> Well, to them, you are a murderer. Now tell me about your family, Peter. Your mother or father or Peter. Tell me about your brother, Joey. How's your relationship with him before he died in that car crash? What is there to say? Joey was perfect. Perfect sports star and so popular. Did you did Joy ever stick up for you when you were being bullied? Yeah, sure. Joy was one of the people who started it. Your hair looks so retarded. Actually, no, you look a fag. I know, right? I look like Peter. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, get lost, freak. Yeah, man. Like. He used to tell people that I was a doctor and that my real mother was a crack party. I'm happy that Joey did, just like all the others. Peter, did you mean to kill him? Well, what would you have done? Peter! I wasn't trying to kill them, they just got in the way. I was trying to kill the person I hated the most, but I didn't get to. So, who were you trying to kill? Me. 
I dropped out. I'm not a judge of the case anymore. What? But why? Either I lost the case or I lost my daughter. Now I just have to learn how to be a better parent. Yeah, I know. It's like so stupid. There's nothing to do around here. No, I already told you. I'm here because my stupid brother dropped my parents along to go view some Ivy League colleges. Josh is in the shower. You want to go to the new mall? Well, I don't even know like when it closes. Okay, I'll go check it out. Josie left her email on, I guess. <laughs> oh my god, do you have to see this? Wait, no, 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 no. You know what? Spam this out to the whole world. I heard you like my girlfriend. Let's just see what you have. My name is Jordan McAfee, and I'm here to prove that my client, Peter Hewn, is innocent of the events that occurred on March 6, 2007. Peter suffers from a post-traumatic stress disorder from being bullied. On March 6, 2007, he entered a dissociative state where he's physically present but mentally removed. He couldn't separate his feelings from the event, and so he's not to blame. The state began when he read an email on March the 6th, and it can last for hours. Peter just did what was expected of him after years of bullying. My name is Diane Eleven. I am part of the prosecution, and I'm going to show you that Peter has no psychological problems. Let me show you a video of the murder.